five. Number five is Stomper from the Oakland Athletics. The main reason I chose Stomper is because uh, the athletics, you're looking for an athletic animal, and uh, there is no more athletic of an animal to choose than an elephant. Stomper might be the only elephant in the world who dances and beatboxes. Standing six foot six and weighing an even ton, the trunk trickster has performed at several MLB All-Star games in addition to his nightly antics at the Coliseum. Stomper renews his most beloved tradition prior to each game when he rides onto the field in a tiny red car to the stylings of Cool and the Gang's Jungle Boogie. Number four. Number four is the San Diego Chicken, a classic from the 80s, no longer a current mascot, but um, I always remember the chicken because I had this old VH, uh, VHS tape from the 80s about sports bloopers, and it had the uh, clip of uh, the chicken hatching himself from the egg and uh, dancing around, and so he's always, uh, the chicken's always had an impression on me. 1983 marks the 10th summer of baseball for the chicken. He hopes to join the tradition of other baseball heroes such as Ducky Medwick, Goose Gossage, and Doug Bird. Currently at the beak of his, per his career, the chicken continues to draw huge crowds for baseball wherever the road may lead him, major or minor leagues, although he admits his favorite level is gray AAA. He was almost signed as a free agent by Atlanta in 79, but chickened out to be a brave. As well, rumors persist that he is going to be drafted by New York and be known as a cockadoodle dandy. When his days of playing chicken are over, his ambition, he says, is to get into managing, probably a pizza parlor. Number three. So for number three, I chose Mr. Redlegs. Um, I know Mr. Red is the mas the main mascot, and Mr. Redlegs is one that uh, they do races with, and there's like rosy red legs and stuff. But, um, you know, he's got that huge stash, and so I just couldn't resist um, a mascot with a, a big mustache. That's going to be um, another mascot in the video. Also, is going to have a stash coming up. So, um, I just couldn't resist. What can I say? Number three, Mr. Redlegs. So, Cincinnati's four mascots all have raced against each other at Great American Ballpark. The fat and furry Gapper competes against the three baseball-headed characters, Mr. Red, Mr. Redlegs, and Rosie Red, who has the wheels to keep up with the boys. Number two. Number two is Bernie Brewer from the Milwaukee Brewers. Um, this character with the huge stash just reminds me of some guy who's just hammered in the bar all the time that I see. Um, and, uh, I know he used to slide down his slide into the big beer mug. So, I mean, it's not all about just the looks, it's about the persona. And that's why he's number two on my list. Just, um, it's Bernie Brewer. Bernie Brewer has his own dugout in the left field bleachers at Miller Park. And he zips down a plastic yellow slide whenever the home team goes deep. The concept sprouted in June of 1970 when a 69-year-old man named Milt Mason camped out in a trailer atop the scoreboard at County Stadium, vowing not to come down until the club drew a crowd of at least 40,000 fans. His wishes were met that August. Here are some cards that just missed the cut. Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> No offense. <laughs> number one. The number one mascot is the Philly Fanatic. And how can it not be? I mean, the Philly Fanatic is just, I feel like it's almost the mascot of baseball. Um, he's green. He's got that horn nose. He dances on the dugout. He's just, he's just in, embodies everything a mascot should be in baseball. And he's just awesome. So he is your number one mascot. What 300 pounder answers the bell for the Phillies every season? It's the Philly fanatic who has missed just eight games since coming over to the Phillies from his home in the Galapagos Islands in 1978. Easy to spot in his bright green fur, the fanatic delights fans with his antics, which have been known to include anything from four wheelers to opposing managers. Though he's not the most graceful Philly on the field with his clumsy feet and bulky body, the Philly fanatic is certainly one of the favorites.